My fellow Americans and my fellow Republicans, my name is J.D. Vance from the great state of Ohio. Tonight, O H I O. You guys, we gotta we gotta chill with the Ohio love. We gotta win Michigan too here. So <laughs> my friends, tonight is a night of hope. A celebration of what America once was and with God's grace, what it will soon be again. And it is a reminder of the sacred duty we have to preserve the American experiment, to choose a new path for our children and grandchildren. But as we meet tonight, we cannot forget that this evening could have been so much different. Instead of a day of celebration, this could have been a day of heartache and mourning. For the last eight years, President Trump has given everything he has to fight for the people of our country. He, he didn't need politics, but the country needed him. Did it? Now, prior to running for president, he was one of the most successful businessmen in the world. He had everything anyone could ever want in a life. And yet, instead of choosing the easy path, he chose to endure abuse, slander, and persecution. And he did it because he loves this country. I want all Americans to, to go and watch the video of a would-be assassin coming a quarter of an inch from taking his life. Consider the lies they told you about Donald Trump, and then look at that photo of him defiant, fist in the air, when Donald Trump rose to his feet in that Pennsylvania field. All of America stood with him. And what did he call us to do for our country? To fight, to fight for America. Even in his most perilous moment, we were on his mind. His instinct was for us, for our country, to call us to something higher, to something greater, to once again be citizens who ask what our country needs of us. Now consider what they said. They said he was a tyrant. They said he must be stopped at all costs. But how did he respond? He called for national unity, for national calm, literally right after an assassin nearly took his life. He remembered the victims of the terrible attack, especially the brave Corey Compratori, who gave his life to protect his family. God bless him. And then President Trump flew to Milwaukee and got back to work. Now that's the man I've gotten to know personally over the last few years. He is tough, and he is, but he cares about people. He can stand defiant against an assassin one moment and call for national healing the next. He is a beloved father and grandfather, and of course, a once in a generation business leader. He's the man who is feared by America's adversaries, but two nights ago, and I'll share a moment, said goodnight to his two boys, told them he loved them, and made sure to give each of them a kiss on the cheek. And I will say, Don and Eric squirmed the same way my four year old does when his daddy tries to give him a kiss on the cheek. Sorry, guys. 
He is all those things, but tonight we celebrate he is our once and future President of the United States of America. Now, I want to respond to his call for unity myself. We have a big tent in this party on everything from national security to economic policy. But my message to you, my fellow Republicans, is we love this country and we are united to win.